backwards. There we are. So good morning, good afternoon, good night, uh, everybody. Nice to meet you all for this uh, GSOC uh, office hour for the 7th of July where we're going to discuss a few matters uh, around the GSOC, the Jenkins GSOC program. So I have a few points that I'd like to share with you in the beginning, and then afterwards we're going to do a round table uh, to see the various uh, projects. So first announcement is that the GSOC project criterias uh, have been published uh, earlier uh, this week. So, hi, Raj. Uh, so they have been published. They have been discussed uh, first with the org admins, then with the mentors. Now they're open for the public and for you. Uh, open for comments. If you have uh, improvements, comments, questions, doubts, or suggestion, you're welcome uh, to use it uh, during the uh, uh, on on the document and say if do you want to walk them through? Did everybody read them, or we can eventually walk through them? I think we can walk through them. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, that uh, so I'm going to share that screen. Okay, there. So does everybody see my screen with the project success criteria? Jake, yes, we do. Them? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, because I didn't see you nodding because you don't have your camera on. <laughs> Uh, okay, just a joke. So here, these are the criteria that will help us uh, as a global team. So mentors and um, uh, contributors to evaluate, did we have a successful Google Summer of Code uh, when we reach September? So the first question we're going to ask is, do we have a functional and or usable product artifact feature delivered uh, at the end of GSOC. The meaning of that can be uh, uh, fine-tuned or, or can be uh, adapted so we can clarify that even further. But there can be good reasons why uh, the initial idea didn't work. But currently, uh, I don't see that in any project. So I leave it very open what is delivered. But we, we need to have something uh, at the end, being a report, a description, a jar, a plugin, a documentation, or whatever. So there must be an outcome. Second point is this outcome needs to be documented and uh, so it's not only to have it done and see here it works no it it needs to be complete correctly described uh, for the process development process uh, and so we want to see that uh, the intent the project plans the various functional and technical decisions were correctly described and made public and discussed uh, publicly. So uh, we don't want to see somebody hacking and working in this in a cave on his side and Sally Pops comes out and uh, there has been no discussion. I don't see that at all for the four projects okay, here. Uh, did the GSOC contributor learn and demonstrate the ability to work in public, which is a, a very important point for uh, working with open source. It's, it's a complete different way 
of working than uh, in, in a company or professional uh, environment. So that means sharing progress, give ample opportunity for review, interact with the community, etc. cetera. Uh, did the GSOC contributor learn and demonstrate adequate communication skills? So uh, written, uh, verbal, so we'll have some presentations, uh, it work interactions. So uh, this is another important skill that we want to, uh, to have the contributors getting proficient. And this is the purpose of the learning uh, pro process. Now, per project, you can uh, define other criteria. Uh, I just want to emphasize that this is not a university exam. This is not a death march. It, well, I made my military service, so I know what that means. So that uh, cost what it costs, even if you need to crawl, uh, you absolutely must reach it. This is not the purpose. The purpose is uh, to have an enjoyable experience, to learn things, and especially learn to work uh, together. So this is the purpose. I think we started this adventure on this base. It's only I wanted to have it written so as a guideline. And uh, it's also an advice from Google to have them uh, written down. Are there questions, doubts, clarifications needed on this? It's clear to me. Okay, well, a couple of seconds more. Okay. Uh, don't hesitate to put comments in the document or uh, what you, the method you feel to give your comments, improvements or clarifications. Okay, next point is, uh, we're going to reach an important milestone for you. It, I know it's intimidating, but it's part of the learning process. So we're going to hold the Jenkins online meetup um, on the 21st of July at this time uh, here. Thank you for Alyssa to have organized uh, the meetup. So it's announced now, it has been announced also on the various uh, social media. Uh, don't forget to register uh, to it because you will receive the link only once you have registered. Uh, we can walk uh, through that uh, afterwards, but uh, I'll send a link uh, to the meetup page or uh, I can get the link and, uh, and put it in the chat window right now just give me a minute John Mark yeah okay thank you very much for that uh, Alyssa yeah so just a reminder it's a 15 minute presentation where uh, and you can use slides where slides are a good uh, uh, a good way to do that where you explain to the crowd. I don't know how many people will be there, so don't get scared about that. What the purpose of your project is, what is the plan uh, for your project? What is it about? Explain it in simple words. Where are you standing now in this idea, in this project? Where are you? What are the difficulties you're facing? What are the challenges you're facing? What did you already achieve? So you tell the story. This is where we are. Bragging is allowed and encouraged because you all did tremendous work uh, and you achieved uh, 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 good results up to now. Maybe not what you wanted. And, and so maybe you're putting the bar there, but you have a lot to brag about and be proud of. If you have the, the possibility, but uh, don't 
don't fret, fret out if, if you don't have, uh, have it ready, but having a demo, something to show, helps people to understand uh, uh, what you did, what the aim of the project uh, uh, is. Just remember, you have 15 minutes to do it. Uh, ask your mentors for advice or to rehearse or that. A good way to rehearse that, I don't know if you have done that already. Uh, a good way to do it is to use either Zoom or whatever uh, uh, conferencing system that you used to and you record yourself doing that. And you go a couple of times through uh, uh, the presentation. And that way, uh, you will first know, are you able to explain everything that you want uh, uh, to, to, to tell uh, the, the people in the allocated 15 minutes? I can tell you, it's hard to keep it in the 15 minutes. So rehearse it, and you will feel uh, much, much better especially if English is not your, your native language. Are there questions about that? So don't hesitate. If you want personal advice about that, reach out to your, uh, your mentors. You can reach out to me. I've done that so many times uh, that uh, I can maybe share a few tips uh, on that. And don't be afraid. We're here to have fun and learn together. OK. Next point. I've seen a lot of very enthusiastic, dedicated uh, people working on GSOC, a very proud and honored to have been selected uh, in GSOC and putting a huge amount of energy meaning that I see messages very early in, a, in your time zone and very late. So you're, 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 I, I fear somewhere, and I'm speaking here as a, grand, a father, a grandfather. Uh, so I fear that you're really putting everything in it. There I need to say you, an important thing that you, I want you also to learn is that to keep a good work and life balance in all that. So it's a, a, a one-time experience. It's a, a great experience, but nobody will win if you burn out uh, uh, on it. So just to clarify the expectations, the contract, moral contract, is that during the coding period, uh, the project is estimated at 175 hours for 12 weeks. That makes about uh, uh, 15 hours per week that you can arrange. Now, this is the, the goal. I can really understand that you want to explore things, that you're taking more time, you get into troubles, it doesn't work that you're spending more time. I'm doing exactly the same. So this is why I allow myself to give you this, this, this advice is be careful. It's fun, it's great, but uh, keep the balance. So learn to hook off. Uh, I remind myself each time, now we're different generation there, but don't go on Gitter or Slack. Is it necessary to go during the weekend? on it, at a certain moment, moment, you need to shut off. If you feel the necessity, and I had this discussion with one of you, the, the here I want to, to think, or I have personal uh, uh, things that I'd like to, to sort out, it's perfectly okay to say here, I need to take a good breath. I want to go, I, I don't know, I want to go to my parents or, or this or that to have a break. So I, I, uh, I insist uh, on that. Yeah, and the last thing that very often, especially learning. Now, you're in the generation that was born 
with, with that. But Slack, Gitter, mails are asynchronous communication means. That means it does not require an immediate uh, reply. Read it at certain times uh, when when you allocate it. It does not require an immediate uh, reply. I don't expect also an immediate reply. So I sound maybe a little bit too uh, advising. I feel it's my my role to uh, uh, to give you that advice because I've seen a huge amount of super dedication. I see very uh, enthusiastic young people. Uh, I wanted to give that, that advice. Are there questions, comments, or people that don't agree with that, what I said? I'm open to discussion. Okay, Alyssa, just, I didn't sound too fatherly or too, <laughs> I'm, I'm no, I think it's, it's good word of advice. And I suggest our, our young, uh, contributors take uh, take that in because it's it's important. We want to we want you to be successful. We want you to be happy, and you know we want you to have a life as well. So it needs to be said. Thank you, Jean Marc. So here um, now this was a long, long introduction. I'm sorry, but I, I wanted to share that uh, with you. Let's go around uh, the various projects. So let's go. Diraj, how's the plugin health going? Yes, hi everyone. So to tell you about how the project is going. So in the previous week, we worked on mostly some of the enhancements tasks and uh, there were some bug and core related or chore related uh, PRs as well. So to quickly tell you what uh, we worked on, first of all, um, we had some problems in generating the reports uh, on our CI configuration. So uh, Adrian helped us in that. So he uh, opened a PR and corrected everything and now it works very well and there's reports generating as well after that there was one enhancement pr that i submitted to um, to simplify what was going on in the project and uh, there are two tasks in progress right now and uh, they're like uh, it's like we're in that uh, zone where we are going to climb the hill like the main task that's going to come up in near week so that is in progress right now um that is adding a json object inside of our database so that is the interesting one so its pr is currently in draft and i will be soon publishing it for review and uh, and there's another thing then another pr that is under review right now so these two things are there and uh, by next week hopefully they would get merged if nothing's wrong with uh, if if it looks good and after that i would be working on the main task of designing the rules system so that uh, we would be able to generate some probe data and they would be we would be able to so, uh, show some demos or uh, by july 21 if possible yes hey great so I think you're really in the middle of it now. Yes. Okay, good, thank you. Uh, Jenkins file runner action for GitHub, Yiming. Can you tell us a little bit where we're standing? Okay, so, so last week I did three things mainly. So firstly, I submitted a pull request, pull request about the method of uh, how to package the Maven binaries and the additional plugins. So uh, now it is based on the cache action. You can see it in the pull request. Uh, but some actual uh, implementations uh, needed to be polished or uh, changed uh, after the weekly discussion because 
they are not good enough to be a feature. So it is only my personal idea. Uh, and secondly, I submitted a pull request about uh, how to create a Jenkins file runner image that bundles newer Jenkins core. So, uh, and, and I think uh, I don't need to, uh, I think this pull request uh, does not be needed at all because um, the Jenkins file runner project, uh, all that will helps me to uh, release a new version with a uh, newer Jenkins core uh, in Jenkins file runner upstream project project. And uh, thirdly, I also tried to add more details in the project page and the demo project page. Yeah, that's my work last week. Okay, good. Uh, just a point, uh, don't hesitate to uh, propose enhancements uh, upstream uh, or to help Oleg. In, in things because Oleg has a very tight uh, schedule, so don't hesitate, but I don't know enough uh, okay. uh, there. So, uh, and, and discuss that with, uh, with your mentors uh, to, to move ahead with, uh, with that. Okay, something else, you mean? Oh, oh, I don't have anything, have any other problems now. I'm good. Okay, good, like to hear that. Automatic git cache maintenance, uh, Hoshi cache. Hello. So uh, this week I worked, uh, I and Mar I, Mark Risha, we all worked on setting up the SSH, uh, you know, so that I could connect with Mark's machine and run the git, uh, you know, and check whether which git, git uh, version supports which git maintenance task that uh, we have done a detailed analysis on that and uh, uh, come up with the, the results. Also, I tried fixing few logical errors which were there in the code. So there were like one, two errors. I tried fixing those. Uh, that, that's it. Uh, that was what I've done this week. I'll, uh, this, so I'll be adding, this, so this week I'll be adding how, you know, how to add legacy git maintenance into gen or uh, you know the git plugin so yeah that's it so uh, the last point was uh, adding legacy git maintenance uh, git uh, maintenance okay is there something you'd like to add uh not impediments problems worries Nothing as of now going good, going strong. Is it you feel you feel good for the twenty first? big question. I'm not sure. So I'm actually. I, I uh, know you're a little bit shy. Yeah. So don't hesitate to ask me help. Yeah, sure. Or sure. or one of your colleagues, but uh, yeah. whoever you feel good. But don't be. Don't, don't worry. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next one, uh, Vian. Hey Tell everyone. Us. We've been working together. Yeah. So first of all, I would like to thank uh, thank you a lot. So for getting the release done. So that was one of the biggest checklists for the week. So uh, I checked it and the artifactory shows a release well and good and also try to include it as a dependency and everything is working great. And on my side, um, this week was like a PR week for me. So yesterday itself, I, if I counted correctly, I guess five PRs were merged. So, <laughs> and um, the few things that were done was adding search on pipeline steps reference. So this was a follow up to the plugin list that was not merged. So maybe some sort of a modification of that and getting the source ready. So it's merged and uh, it's working on the website now. So that was the first thing that was done. After that, um, we, uh, the data type uh, parameter list. So that has also, that pull request in pipeline step docs has also been merged. Um, so now we can see the updated versions on the website itself. So everything has gone into build. Um, after that, um, 
the updation of the meta titles was complete uh, as we did together and uh, so for those who don't know uh, we have updated the repository to support the plugin manager that is required by the step doc generator repository and the reason that we separated that artifact from the main repository was in the future some others other projects can also use us uh, use that as an artifact those who don't wish to start a new Jenkins instance, but want to use the power of the plugin manager that comes along. So that has been done and set. So now I guess only the CD part for that is left. And I think John Mark will take care of that also. And please ask me for help if you want in any of those things. And now the goal for maybe this, so tomorrow we'll have a meet with Kristen and the goal would be to complete the tests for this repository. And the main test would be to see if the plugin manager is getting consumed by the reactor, which is present in the pipeline step extractor. And we'll just write some test queries to see um, the results are matching them or not. So those would be the test uh, overview as of now. Um, so once that is done, uh, we can set up the next um, cycle, I guess. So, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I worked together with Vihan. I, I had the, the, the pleasure because I don't get the opportunity as much anymore, but uh, to do some technical stuff and help for the release. Something that we observed and that might be a general interest, the, the teacher again uh, uh, saying. Uh, a reminder for everybody is uh, you bump in a problem. And here in this case, uh, we, we had a problem in the generation of the Java doc. There were some illegal uh, parameters. This error was not caught by the CI because the goal was not explicitly done, but generating the Java doc is something that's run at the release when you build the release. And this is where we discovered this is exactly when you have a problem that happens in production. You fix the problem, and, and Vian fixed it very, very quickly. Thank you again, although it's you've been working, you were online late, but so there's a part. Uh, <laughs> but the, the immediate thing that you need to take uh, in account is, what tests can I add, or in this case, what is the goal that I need to add in the CI process in the Jenkins, so that if we do that again, putting the wrong character in the Java doc, it, get, it gets caught during the CI continuous integration, because this is where it needs to be, uh, to be caught. So the, the pattern is, a problem occurred, it was not detected during CI. The immediate thing that you need to trigger is what do I need to add so that that error gets caught the, the next time during the CI. So adding uh, integration tests, adding unit tests, adding the goal to the build command uh, in this case. I found it a very uh, interesting experience here and I wanted to share uh, that to uh, to the group. Okay, we're running out of time. I'd like to give the word to uh, Jake, Chris and Alyssa. Is one of, uh, does one of you three want to ask, say or comment on anything that was said? I don't have anything, John Mark. Okay, thank you. Me neither. Oh, I would just echo what you said. Seems like every project is going well and contributors are doing well. And I know I can speak for Daraj. He's been great, so. Okay, well done. Okay, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to work with you all. You're making good progress. It's, it's I should say, but I'm proud of the work that you're doing. Okay, <laughs> have a nice rest of the day. Everybody continue. Uh, uh, that way, and uh, talk to you next Thank week. You. Then. Thank, Thank you, John Mark. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.